Welcome to The Erica Russo Show, where we dive deep into the realms of personal development, spirituality, and the power of the mind. Join us on a transformative journey as we explore the art of manifesting the life you truly desire, all while listening to your intuition. Join host Erica Russo, intuitive life and business mentor and best-selling author each week as we'll embark on a quest to uncover the secrets of manifesting abundance, nurturing a resilient mindset, and tapping into the spiritual dimensions that shape our reality. Each episode, we'll bring you insightful discussions, practical techniques, and inspiring stories from experts and seekers alike. Whether you're seeking clarity in your spiritual journey, striving to shift your mindset, or eager to unlock your full potential, this podcast is your guiding light. All right. Yay. Yeah. Just checking in how we're all feeling. It's 11 11, <laughs> but it's been quite a, a hefty week or so. Hmm. Okay. A lot of fear. I don't understand. Doing okay. Great. I wasn't at the session that this kind of came to fruition. So, is there anything there that, um, you feel like you want to bring into this session or release in this session in any way? <laughs> what? Why are you calling me out in the chat, Erica? <laughs> well, Serena. You're the one that brought it up. <laughs> I, I am the one. Well, technically it wasn't me, but I channeled that um, from a higher realm uh, consciousness. It was a blue energy that it was really important um, and that you've actually felt the calling to offer this, Sabrina. So I don't know if that's something that resonates with you, but you've been feeling it because she, she uh, the, the entity, I don't know what to call it really, this being said she knows. And so um, it's to help integrate the light because a lot of people here have already been doing the inner work. And so it's to help our bodies to integrate Um the light that's trying to come in. So it's making room for that and the integration process easier. Um, they said water and sample healing are the only ones because the water is already ionized and harmonized for it to be able to detox the body. Um, and then your sound healing is going to help to open spaces for the light to enter in um, easily for those next things that are coming in for everybody. So I'm I hope that's good. <laughs> Yeah, it totally resonates. I was actually thinking to myself, oh, my kids are off school. I don't have to like do the whole thing. I should do a sound bath. And I was kind of like doing that. And then Erica's like, hey, would you want to do a sound bath? I was like, okay. Like, you know, you're just like, were you listening? Like, you know, like, could you hear? So that's perfect. Um, and I love offering sound baths because it's so soothing. And I think that when you're doing a lot of healing work and you're doing a lot of you know, self-reflection and trying to up-level and, or whatever, just trying to survive sometimes, you know, there's just like, ah, it's just, just this like weight that kind of carries. And my experience with sound healing is it's just so, it just like, like it lifts it all kind of off. It doesn't take anything away. There's no quick fix. It's not gonna, you know, heal anything magical. I think that you don't know about, um, but it puts us in a perspective that allows us to trust the clarity that comes through. That's my experience. And I also love that it's just a matter of receiving. There's no, you don't have to participate outside of like what you want to do with yourself. So I love being able to offer that, you know, there's so much of like this back and forth that we do with healing when, and then you kind of like leave a little like drained and exhausted. You're like, oh my God, okay. Like, I'm glad I'm doing this, but it's hard. So I hope that you all um, and everyone watching gets the chance to just receive. I think it's a really special gift to offer ourselves too. So, um, hey, thank you all for being here. Uh, is anyone new to sound healing? I have any questions before I get started. No, great. Okay, so obviously coming through the computer, it depends on how loud you have your settings. Um, I tend to set mine to the middle. So if you like, if you know, if you're by yourself and you want it to be louder, you can put your volume louder. Um, you can wear headphones if you like just want just the whole thing. You'll definitely feel it more with headphones because it's like right here. Um, if you know that you're in a space with other people or whatever and you want to set it a little bit lower, uh, you have that option too. So. Um, I'll get started. I like to begin sound meditations with a meditation. I think it's important to kind of 
close the energetic door from where we're coming from, open the door into this. So um, I'm going to do that sitting here and then I'm going to walk back and go to the bowls because you won't be able to hear me as well. So just so you know that I'll be moving around if you hear that. Um, so however you want to get started, you want to lay down, you want to sit it is a little bit um, long. I, I personally can't sit for that long, <laughs> but if that's your thing, please do that. If you need to get a glass of water, um, a blanket or anything, if you want to use the restroom, uh, just giving you that option to put yourself in the frame of mind and body that you're not going to be distracted. So, you know, if you're like, oh, I, should I get just just get it, just use the restroom, just grab the glass of water because you don't want to like leave that lingering there. So yay, welcome, thank you for being here. Um, I like to just preface these virtual sessions these days with if anything happens to my internet connection, I promise I'm still holding space for it. I'll do my best to come back, but just know that like energy isn't broken up in that way. So you're still receiving the energy and intention of the session. So while you're settling in, finding your comfortable place, go ahead and allow yourself to fidget a little bit. Allow yourself to wiggle like, oh, what feel, what is my body feeling? Is it hard to lay down? Is it hard to sit up? You know, where am I feeling fear? If that's something that you're feeling, is it in your chest? Is it in your belly? Is it in your head? Like, where am I feeling things? You know, where am I feeling good? What feels good and solid and steady, you know, supportive? What's feeling anxious? What's feeling? And you don't have to understand it. It doesn't, you know, have to make sense. You don't have to put a name on it. Just begin to bring your awareness into your body. And like Sonia so beautifully said, you know, one of the magic of the samples is that it does relate and vibrate the water in your body. So there is an actual, you know, physiological experience that you may have, you know, more than just spiritual. So the more you can become aware of your body now, the more you will be aware of its effects after. So I'm just burning some Palo Santo here. I'm just going to clear my space not just physically but energetically you know i'm not bringing in anything that isn't meant for today's session and the group that may be watching here or later beginning to really bring your awareness and attention and focus into the container so if that's a visualization if you feel like you need to like close that door and be in this space i like to imagine these kind of iridescent walls coming up where I can see, you know, as a mom and having my kids home, I'm aware I'm nothing is going to go past me. There's no emergency that I'm not going to be aware of, but I'm here in this space now and I can hold these these walls up, these boundaries for myself. So whatever works best for you, beginning to just open your container and beginning to hold that space for yourself. you feel ready, you can begin to bring your awareness a little closer in, maybe beginning to feel your aura or your energetic body, you know, what is kind of resonating off of you. Beginning to connect to the other energy of the group, whoever's here today, or if you're watching in the future, beginning to feel the energy of the people that are all here. You might feel that in your hands, maybe you feel that in your heart, maybe you just feel that in your essence. It's a beautiful, privilege to work in a group, especially like the Intuitive Life Society, where you know that you're respected, you know that you're held and supported. It allows you to be more vulnerable. It allows you to connect on a deeper level. So allow yourself to begin to go into that deeper place. If it feels good to hold your body, you know, hand on your heart or your belly, cross your arms, give yourself a hug. If that feels good to you, beginning to really connect into yourself. And then if it feels good to set an intention for your practice today, if there's something that you came in with or something that you've been holding on that you're like, oh, I, I I want clarity around this, or I want to release this, or I want to call something in, or I 
just want to feel peace, whatever it is, having a clear intention does help the energy move. But if that's not available for you today, there's no wrong way to receive. So whatever feels best to you. And then lastly, if you like to call in any spiritual energy, God, goddess, the universe, source, angels, ancestors, guides, calling on that energy now, however you like to open your sessions, being mindful that although this is, you know, not as participatory and you're just receiving, that is important to have boundaries. You know, you're not opening yourself up to everything. You're opening yourself up to what will bring you the highest good and healing, what will bring you clarity, what will bring you support. And then you can just gently begin to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice and slow. If it feels good to close the eyes or lower the gaze, if it feels safe and supportive to you, again, in through the nose. And every time you exhale, letting the exhale be slower and slower. Maybe you're drawing down the shoulders. Maybe you're drawing down any energy tension in the neck, in the hips. Maybe one or two more breaths, just like that, allowing yourself to deepen in, stay connected. From now until the end of the session, know that I will be holding responsibility for time. There's no need for you to be aware of anything outside. Everything will come to you as needed. It feels good to continue breathing in that way. You can do that. Otherwise, just allow yourself to breathe naturally. yourself to just bathe in the vibrations. That's all you have to do is take it in.
beginning to bring your awareness back into the space, back into your body. You can begin by just deepening the breath. And before you move or come out of it too much, I invite you to take a moment to just be present in your body, maybe scan through again, just bringing awareness to any areas that feel that feel lighter, that feel tense. Again, if it feels good to hold the body, I also invite you to send yourself gratitude, to let that resonate through your whole essence, through your core, out and around you completely immersing yourself in the vibration of gratitude, self-gratitude. And if there's anything that came up during your practice today that you'd like to forgive, that you'd like to detach or to tangle your energy from, allowing yourself to do that now, recognizing that forgiveness is always in your highest good, allows you to be free and clear, When you feel ready to begin to bring yourself back into this space, you can wiggle your fingers and your toes, maybe stretch your arms overhead. Being nice and gentle as you come up to seated, if that's what you want to do. Taking yourself nice and slow. If it feels good to journal right after, you might want to grab a pen, some paper. And whenever you're ready, you're gently going to make your way all the way up to seated. Just back into your space, back into the room. Wherever you may be at this time, we're gently gonna just let your head bow to your heart or wherever it feels connected and just sending gratitude to any spiritual support you may have called in, your guides, your angels, your ancestors, source, God, the universe, thanking them for being supportive of your journey and your practice today. And also extending your energy out to those who are here and present in the practice with you, holding this container of support. I like to visualize a little hand squeeze, a little smile, sending you all gratitude and love. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your sound healing journey today. I'm so honored. And I'm here if you have any questions or wanna share anything. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for allowing these outside sounds of my children being home. I hope that wasn't too distracting. There's only so, so much that we can do to um, quiet the outside, right? There's only so much. So it's really allowing those sounds and that energy, whatever may have come up for you, the fan, the trash, you know, pick up to be, to be a part of your, your meditation. But we're, we're already at that level. So I know you guys can do that. So thank you anyone um you know if there's any not that you have to share